or you wanted to add your address, your shipping address or your warehouse address in Pindido, in Pindido, you get somewhere like this, you got confused, got tired or any other thing, discouraging and you clicked towards the matter, you clicked here, you clicked on the, on the city to select city. Then you saw something like everything Chinese. An artist was, you don't even know the, like the names of the city to select. You know, you have to select city, do this thing, plenty, plenty things. You got confused, you got tired and you was like, oh, what will I do? Don't worry, let me show you something. In this video, I will show you how to add your address to Pinduoduo Marketplace in a very simple way. It's very simple and you will get the right. Yeah, very simple and straightforward way. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is click on your profile. Then on your profile now, click on the address symbol, location symbol, that's this. Stop, 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 stop. Has that been the first thing you have been doing? If that's the first thing you have been doing, no, 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 that's not the first thing. No wonder it's complicated for you. The first thing you have to do is... The first thing you have to do is open your notepad, create a note. And this note, let me title it as PDD address. That's a Pindudu, Pindudu, PDD address. Uh -huh. Now you have done this. You can you can click on save. Yes. Now the next thing is open your Google Translate app. Your Google Translate app. Type this thing. Consignee name. Consignee name. That's a consignee name. Consignee name. That's consignee name means name of receiver. Uh -huh. Now copy it. Copy this copy copy it when you click on this go to your notepad the note you created on notepad paste it then add this symbol yes dot dot add it then you go again consignee consignee number consignee number okay so this consignee number when you are done, copy it by clicking on this symbol. That's symbol for copy. Copy it. Go back to your notepad. Go back to your notepad. Give some gap. Paste it. Then this. And the last one you have to do is go to your Google Translate again. Your Google Translate. Then type this time now recipient address so this recipient address copy it go back to your notepad then paste it now come to back to the first one write your name there let me say Okay, something like learn with speed, example, learn with speed, your name. Then add your Nigeria number, your Ghana number, your country number, that's your own number, your own phone number. So after adding it in full, please, then come to the second one, which is Kosani number. This have to be the number of your shipping agent not your own personal number in otherwise it does it other this means a chinese number it must be chinese number the consignee number the consignee number must be a chinese number yes because that will be the person to receive it there in china okay for some shipping company they will require that in this place the name is something like uh, the chinese name a Chinese name, but something like a uh, choice logistics. Okay, I'll give you examples of this so I won't talk much. Then you write your name, then you write your your consignee number. Let me say for okay, I have an address. I have an address. Let me use that address so you see what I mean. 
okay so that's it i paused the video so i could get the hugo address so the next thing you have to do is go to your logistics address that's the address they gave you i open the hugo okay in this hugo now get the exact address like not this compound address that contains both your name or number all those things oh, anyway before that we have we have not added the consignee number we have not added the consignee number so what we have to do is look for the chinese number in the address copy it you can see the chinese number here they are two copy it copy the two numbers copy if it's only one it's still okay if it's free it's okay but this particular logistics they used to I'll go back to my address and add it. Come to the second row, then I'll add paste, which is the Chinese number. The third one now is the recipient address. That's the where the goods is going, the location, the place, the city, the region, the goods will be shipped to. So I'll go back to that my Hugo address, Hugo Express. I'll go back to the address. Go down go down you find something like address see this sorry see this address here yeah? see this address this but this is the the foreign language version that's the english language version we'll be using the chinese version so at the down of it is the chinese address okay so if you look here if you look here if you look at that part of this, you will see that this is the address in Chinese. This is the address in Chinese for Hugo. So copy the Chinese address. Okay, you see the similarities. This one has 209. Then this one still has 209. That means it's the same thing. This is just the English language. Why this is the Chinese language? We'll be using the Chinese language. So tap on your notepad. Tap on your notepad to copy. Sorry. Tap on this Chinese address. I'll tap on it. Copy it out. Copy. Then go to the Pindudu address we are using. That's this is for Hugo. Paste it. Paste the address in the recipient address. Uh -huh. So after you are done now, select all. Click on copy so this is the first thing you have to do secondly now after you have copied this address the next thing is to go to your pindudo app open your pindudo app let's launch that so the next thing now you have to do is click on your profile icon on pindudo when you click on that profile icon you will see something like sorry something like location symbol this is the symbol for location if you check your phone if you check your phone here if you check your phone you will see this see this symbol i see this symbol see this location symbol look at the place location you are seeing the location symbol right it's the same thing with this abby it's the same thing with this so click on it remember we remember we already have the address in our clipboard when you click on copy on that address it was added to clipboard now go here look what look at what will happen automatically suggested so all you have to do is click on this yes this means accept automatically fill the address now click on it after you have clicked on it you can see the ease see the simplicity come back to this place come back to the first row write your name then write your your own personal number now your own personal number that's what you add here for some logistics like uh, skyjet you might have to add your member number for one like choice logistics you have to add your member number which is something like ch something something okay let me do an example now with skyjet so you understand 
if you are using skyjet there is another simpler way to do it log on to your skyjet profile let me do that now so now on your skyjet profile click on delivery address when you click on this delivery address sorry this delivery address now see what oh okay so i've not logged in sorry about that so now on your skyjet dashboard click on this shipping address so when you click on shipping address sorry so on your dashboard sorry for the mistake click on warehouse address it was warehouse address i wanted to use warehouse address now on warehouse address you will see this air cargo Chicago. so just click on make sure it's in chinese please don't translate this page to english once you get to this page translate it back to chinese you can see how i did that just simply click here it was in english before before i get here, I, I translated to english before so once you reach this particular once you reach this particular page just click back here chinese so it will be in chinese uh -huh. so now in chinese if you are using c shipping click on this one if you are using uh, the upper one so i'll click on copy yes now after i click on copy i'll go back to my pindudo app let's see what happens you are seeing it is suggested the address automatically so if you are using skyjet to ship you don't need to go through this rigorous process all you have to do is log into your dashboard and copy the address now this skyjet address it has entered okay let me show it skyjet address go back here go back to this place write your name then we speed then write your phone number if your name this particular place it i think is accepts uh, 25 characters so let me i'll just use lws instead of language speed so you can simplify your name if your name is like something like uh, let's say cynthia you can just use cy something like that then you write your phone number then you write your member number if it's skyjet your member number very important your member number very important i'll write it my own member number is 24950 okay you can see is one limit has exceeded this so i can make this just two i can make instead of the lws i can make it just lw to contain this so this is the standard click on this after you are done are you seeing that you be you will see something like this don't click on when you see something like this don't click this click here cancel it this actually means a verify number 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 chinese number they want to verify this chinese number but since you are not the owner you can't verify it so just cancel it cancel you are good to go so this is how to add your address to pindudu if you want to add another address a second address you can just click here you can click here okay so since this one is skyjet address let me also add hugo logistics hugo express address so i'll click here or oh, first i'll go to my clipboard sorry sorry i'll go to my okay now let's go back to let me add the another address so you see what i mean Click on here, then the same thing. Then type your name. L W. Anything, just make it as short as possible. Anything as short as possible, but it should capture the right information. For choice logistics, this particular place, you have to type something like C H C zero zero, something like that. When you are done, click on here. then cancel this you can see this the second address you can add the third the fourth anyone you want any number of addresses you want so that's it it's very simple to add address in this pindudo the root of it is have a notepad 
then arrange as I arrange it here. The first one being the first one being a consigning name. That's this is the first one consigning name. The second one being consigning phone number, which should be Chinese phone number, not your own phone number, please. The third one being recipient address. It's very simple. That was so simple, right? If you still have any challenge, you can chat me up on WhatsApp. Also, you can join our Telegram support group for more flowing communication or smooth communication. You can chat me up on WhatsApp also for any challenge. I'll help you resolve it. Thank you. Please, if you have not subscribed to this channel, do well to subscribe and turn on notifications so that anytime I update this channel with new information, new video that will help you, you will be alerted. Thank you as to do so. Also, like this video. Yeah, like this video. Like this video.